Good morning. Welcome to Morning Review. This is Kim Watson speaking on Wednesday, the 11th of November. Okay, so the euro dollar managed to make a seven month low uh, yesterday. Uh, it has put in a hammer here and uh, we could could see a bit more of a reversal potentially back into the sort of region that we um, had been sitting in as and finding as a um, a support region, a demand region. So we could just push back into that, maybe a daily eight. It combined nicely with a weekly pivot if it was to move up there. However, at the moment, the four hourly perspective, we just run into the four hourly 21. It's rolled over a little bit, could roll over some more. Um, we've got the daily pivot below us at uh, 107.20. So we could see some more downside here. It was a little bit hard in the morning because when we were seeing this sort of picture going on, What's, what's happening with the bigger picture? Well, it's it's getting fuzzy um, on this chart in terms of uh, it's quite easy yesterday for well, I say relatively easy for me yesterday when I was looking at the, the charts and generally it, it was more obvious on this hourly chart that we were coming off. Uh, now we've sort of put this uh, this low in and we've we, we've pushed up quite strongly through um, the later. US session agents and into the Asian session we pushed up although we've uh, re more recently been selling off here for me to be looking at long side um, need to break this upper trend line it's already hit its R1 it's taken away at least one of my targets I'd be looking at yesterday's highs potentially and it has got the weekly pivot untouched we normally got this hit by Wednesday so it's unusual that we're uh, drifting away from it but it doesn't mean there's no guarantee it will be hit so we've got to bear that in mind um, some further weakness on the short side could see us coming down to the daily pivot and that again could effectively roll over there's a potential if we break through that daily pivot that we uh, push up push on to towards yesterday's lows and in fact the s1 so just watching how it develops out first thing this morning okay so that's euro dollar cable the cable was a bit more bullish yesterday it's a bit it's very much more choppy um managed to put in um this uh, like doji bar uh, yesterday which uh, sometimes is a uh, often is a sign of uh, indecision but uh, this morning through the Asian session it's had quite a kicker pushing up towards its weekly pivot it's a smidgen away from it it's as good as hit effectively um, in real terms although it may go up there and do it properly in fact let me just have a look on some other data and see no it's exactly the same whichever data I'm looking at there uh, it's come just short of the uh, weekly pivot but probably good enough um, looking at from a 60 minute point of view and I've got this sort of a uh, very weird wedge on um, if we can this morning see a push up of these highs and break through this high as well that, that could be the weekly pivot but we're already almost into daily r3 territory again we, we sort of um, it, th things are getting a bit more muddled on where we're going here um, to yesterday to me it is really the potential for for downside in in this big sort of uh, flag that we we had um, now we're starting to get more and more higher highs and higher lows and the picture may be it may be just signaling signaling a change in the in cable that it may want to push up further so the weekly pivot almost been hit may be hit I mean, obviously today we've got to watch out for that R3 may provide some uh, key resistance. However, with the with this the squeeze on between the pivots here, um, it, it it might just run through on anything that's uh, relatively good in terms of news. And we do have the uh, um, average earnings and uh, employment figures uh, coming out this morning, so at 9:30. So that in itself could give the kicker. To break through this if, if it's particularly good but remember the emphasis in the US is, is into an interest rate increase and I don't think the Bank of England would be too far behind in some respects of doing similar um, if, it, if it were to happen anyway uh, although there is this indecision there but the, the just the, the very fact of any good figures coming through here I think would give us quite a push up there Likewise, disappointing figures would see us come back for the weekly uh, weekly pivot, the daily pivot, maybe, maybe yesterday's lows into that S1 area, and maybe beyond, as I say, the pivot's a pinch, so it may just be a fact, one of those facts that, or days where we, we see them um, hit from pillar to post, really. Okay, uh, dollar yen. 
dollar yen it's it's unlike the others it's not really making new highs or lows or it's it's not really making a lot of progress we've had these two uh we had a shooting top uh, shoot, shoot, a spinning top um a bit of a doji we're sitting in at the moment uh, hanging in there <laughs> hanging man um or it could be a hammer um but anyway we, we're sort of sitting in this position and it's a sort of a biggish uh, ball flag on the on the four alleys that's developed there which uh, well if it continues to the upside uh, we'll we'll see us hit the maybe the daily pivot and onwards towards the uh, trend line there uh, the r1 so has got some potential to the upside um just like the others it, it's if it, if it starts breaking uh this uh, trend line here well we've already hit the s2 we could be on for the s3 even possibly but some of the ranges on the yen has been pretty uh range uh, range bound uh, accepting where there's news so we'll see how it runs but uh, certainly got possibility there. Okay, um, Aussie dollar. Okay, a bit more positive this morning. We put in almost a spinning top yesterday, which could be a bit of a reversal, which put in a new low, but then pushed up uh, reasonably at uh, one stage. And it's, it's, it's managed to push in up even further today. What we've got now on this alley perspective is this sort of... Uh, bullish flag it's a bit as i say a bit mixed uh, overall when you look at this you're thinking well actually it's taking out those prior highs there so it's pushing up it's re really whether we can get a push of this upper uh, flag alley flag pattern if we can get a push up for that it may be on for the weekly pivot there um so there's the, the possibility really if it starts breaking the lows of this current bar we well we've got all this support here but there is the the daily pivot sitting below us but uh it, it could be a choppy slow period of time unless something news wise comes out to drive that through all those ma's okay um aussie dollar and finally uh, well, i'll throw the canadian dollar in for a bonus so the canadian dollar on the dailies is putting this little uh, flag all flags sort of coming in and you see it on the four hourly uh, or the daily whichever it's a sort of flaggy type pattern um, any sort of shove could see that pushing up the price of oil has been uh, gradually reducing and we're seeing sort of uh, the weakness sort of showing through generally in the in the Canadian dollar but it's holding reasonably well weekly pivot not far below so any any con continued correction of this flag uh, would, would see us running right towards that and it could be a good target um in fact if you it's, it's in a bit of a channel at the moment i'll put the channel line in on there uh but that a break of the lows of that well they, it, the lower part of the channel is always the weakest and there's the possibility it could just break through that lower channel and break to the uh as i say the weekly pivot any sort of strength here well we're looking for a, a touch of the daily pivot and maybe pushing up into yesterday's highs and the r1 so it's the possibilities the upside Okay, that's it for me. Uh, oh, I will just look at oil. Just uh, show you where oil, oil's up to. It's continued downside there, weakness and the dailies heading back, look, looking like it wants to head uh, towards that sort of 43 sort of area, maybe. But um, let's just check on this. There was a bit of divergence kicking in, but that's, well, well it's gone really now. It's a uh, it's, yeah, it's, that's rolled off that divergence on the four alley. Um, has got the daily pivot above us, may get up towards that. It has a reasonable probability of being hit. But um, really, it's it, to me, I'd rather almost be on the downside of it, although it is potentially uh, bottoming out. I'd still rather, if it starts breaking, be, be looking for the downside. But the only play I would do on that is really the Canadian dollar. I wouldn't trade... Uh, oil directly it's a safer play okay um that's it for me uh, the only other speech uh, today we've got draggy speaking at 115 i believe he's addressing the uh oh he's due to speak in the uh, bank of england's open forum at 250 uh, at 115 so always when he speaks there's a potential for volatility so uh, that and the UK news, the employment figures is the most significant data coming out today. All right, have a great one. I'll uh, speak to you tomorrow. Bye for now.